One well, Mr. Matt Braun's going to sit so, down from VEASAN. Uh-oh. Oh, be careful Uh-oh. with the mic. It's be fine. Be careful. You guys are pulling it. We're pulling it, pulling it back and forth. It's yeah. fine. We're going to fight. Right. We're going to fight. How are uh, you? I'm well. I'm well. How are you guys? Good, you, good, you, good. You enjoying things? I am. I am. It's a, a whirlwind, but, uh, you know, <laughs> it is like... It is like a different guest every segment of the show, but, you know, yeah. it is what it is. You know, Is this your first one? It is. It is. It what is. do you think? Um, I've been asking every person that sits down that is their first media week. Yeah. How do you describe it to a person that's not doing this? How about this? This is this is the best way for me to say it. You can say it. I didn't have to like. do the whole week, so it's uh, like okay, so okay, I, I'm not right. worn down like okay. a lot of these people I are. I am right, worn right, down. Right. So the I'm first tired. yes, the I'm first tired. three days were Stormy was here and I was back in Vegas. Then right. we flipped, and right. so okay. I only did the last two days. Okay. So how yeah. was the mayo? Oh God, it was disgusting. <laughs> so it those was who don't know, you yes. like mayonnaise? Oh no, I hate it. He hates it more than anything. Fucking hate it more than anything. But Stormy is kicking his ass. Yeah. In these bets that you're up against, oh. like if I bet one against you, you win against me, and the loser has to eat their most hated food. I hate mayonnaise. And he hates mayonnaise. Yeah. Did you do it with like a packet? How did you? Two packets. Two of them. Yes. So the thing did was, you put was, it on something. Was or? Two, no, no, no. I had to just. Oh. oh. I don't even like. I like mayo. Oh. That's, no, that's no. I had to just huff it. It was the worst. Yeah. It was. It was absolutely oh, miserable. It was terrible. So, my God. Yeah. So did you not? You try very hard what? not to you taste it, just swallow it. As yeah. Fast so the as? well, the, so the first one you were able to kind of like take it like a shot, you yeah, know. Okay. But the problem was having to go back for that second one. Oh. Like going back for that second one was that was oh. where, and it got in in in. in Stormy looked over and she's like, "Okay, are you okay?" And I was like, no. and it, it was just sitting in my mouth because oh. like I couldn't I couldn't make myself physically swallow it. It was horrible. It was every bit as horrible as it sounds. Damn. Yeah. Ice what, or water. What was hers? She would have had to eat. Uh, two raw oysters because she can't. So it's actually the only thing she said she's actually no physically spit out of her mouth like before wow. like any food like it was like Did she put cocktail sauce on it. No, it had to be just oh, two. Even, I don't like that. Straight up, yeah, just two straight up oysters. Cool. So she would have had to do that. So that would, didn't I happen. Get, I would have you, done a hundred oysters before I did one <laughs> packet of. Mayo. We did. We did a oh whipped God. cream pie to the face, which I also lost. She smacked you. Uh, yeah. So How I got hard? that. How yeah. hard oh. did she hit with it? Yeah. I mean, it, 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 not not as not as terrible as I was expecting. <laughs> but uh, so that <laughs> happened. Oh. So this one, the one for the Super Bowl, is one of those um, whatever, like the one chip chips things or something. The super hot thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like the little oh. the one chip. So the loser then on Monday will have to eat the the, on, the on one. Air. Yeah. The one, the one. Chip. The losers not gonna be able to talk for like three hours. Yeah, well, we're gonna, we're, yeah, we're gonna be last segment, <laughs> okay. yeah, and like, yeah, and whatever. And so, like, you can't talk that's after that. The, like, yeah, so that that's that's where we had. I mean, it's a Super Bowl. We figured we'd go big. All right, yeah, you know? I, that's that's. Decent. I mean, being from New Orleans, I would oh. make sure that if Stormy cannot take oysters, you get her a Gulf of Mexico warm water oyster. Because even I can't eat that thing. It's the size of your hand. You're having one of those. No, warm warm, <laughs> warm water. I can only do cold water oysters. I can't do warm the water. The size oysters. of your hand? They're nasty, man. They're so yeah. nasty. Yeah, I, I can't do it. It was, it, but we we're trying to make it as nasty as possible. Yeah, so we, so, yeah, so we, we were doing it. it. Yeah. Do you have a, a like, a side, a play oh. on the side of this Ooh, game? Oh man, this one. I have had a pretty good conviction for like the last four or five Super Bowls, and this okay. is just not this is just not one of them. I will probably have a small money line play on the Eagles. Yep. I am very worried that Jalen Hurts is not completely healthy, and so that is John what Kincaid, is. John Kincaid, who came on this show, is a lifer Philadelphia guy who does morning drive on the Fanatic and yes. 975 in Philadelphia, is claiming all of his sources inside of the Eagles, He's telling fine. him that he is fine. Two, I, two weeks, listen, he's fine. I'd like to believe it, but, I mean, it's one of those deals. Hey, he missed some – he didn't. He wasn't needed in those playoff games, but he missed some wide-open guys. He yep. were some very errant throws and stuff like that. Yep. And just – I can't help I, – I can't erase that yeah. from, my, from my thought process here. Because if you look, I mean, outside of the quarterback and tight end position, they – are pretty much better everywhere else, you know? And We're just saying that. Yeah, yeah they're pretty yeah. much better everywhere else except for the quarterback and tight end position. But yeah. I, I it, that lingering thing of those those missed throws, those missed opportunities, right. just that would have been a bigger deal, I feel like, had those games not have been blown outs. Blowouts, you know? Right. And like they were blowouts and so we just didn't really talk about it all that much. Do you care about the schedule strength argument? Do you use that because You can only play the teams that are put in front of you. And here I, here's the other thing though that I will say. There's a difference between playing an easy schedule and playing an easy schedule and beating the piss out of everybody that you play. Right. Like, Agreed. like, like, exactly. like that's the difference. Like they Agreed. didn't, they didn't sneak through a lot of these games. Like they were double they were, digit wins, right. like up and down that schedule. Yes. Yeah. 
And so for me, I think there is a pretty big difference in that. Say your uh, Twitter handle for the people watching. The chat's asking. What uh, you Matt doing? Brown M2. Like the the it's you got a basic name like Matt Brown. You yeah, have right. to add some problem, stuff to the right? yes. exactly. Yeah. Yes. So you have I had to add M the letter M and then the number two. So Matt okay. Brown M2. When I was working for for SB Nation, the, the, I, I had three Matt Browns in my phone. Because two of them cover college football for SB Nation. Well, that's very yeah. confusing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I had to start taking Vegas. You got to be M two. Yeah. M two or Matt Brown I, Vegas. I do think on the side on the total side of things, if it gets over fifty one, if I get the fifty one and a hook, I'll probably come in on the under. Me too. I'll probably come in on the under if I can get on the other side of fifty one. I, I like the under. I mean, I may have come on under fifty one. I may come in on the under. Yeah. He likes the over, and I, I like the I like I the under. I did at fifty. It's getting. I mean, fifty one's a key number. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, it, you know, there's a lot of combinations of 50, especially 27, 24. Yep. Uh, you know, it's staring at right in the face. Yeah, I, I, I think that if it, the game script for me, if I'm going to back the Eagles, I think you have to at least at some point try to get yourself to an under situation because I don't think they want to get into a shootout with right. the Chiefs or whatever. Right. So I think right. you kind of have to play it out in your head more towards an under type situation. But uh, I think it's going to be close. I, I'm I even – even with the Mahomes factor, even with the Andy Reid factor, even with the experience factor, all the different things like that, I think it's going to be pretty close. Do you treat the Super Bowl differently than any other game, or is it just another betting opportunity? It's well, other than just getting more opportunity, right? right and right. like, more, and more, is, right. Markets, is right. with all of that. I mean, yeah, right. the game itself. That's what I said. Like, I'll probably have a small play. I'm not going to just right. bet a ton just for the sake yeah. of betting a ton, right? I mean, I had a good NFL season this year. I don't right. want to piss it away, like good playoffs, you know, at the yeah. end, you know, yeah. like I don't want to. Is I, that I was, a Vegas guy thing? Like, like we, we, like we've been talking to people yeah. from all over the country, as mm-hmm. you have, and they're like. You guys are not really betting the Super Bowl, and we're like, eh. eh. Yeah, yeah. Is that is, is well, that ninety ninety five percent of my action will be props, like just will will be various prop bets, right? Right. Like it's. I mean, I like to have it. To me, I like to have something that could hit in every quarter. Mm-hmm. Like I just like to spread yeah. it out, have something I could be watching and following along with. But like I'll be as committed to the NHL games over the weekend than I will be to the Super Bowl. Right. Like I just it's another game to bet. It's there's more unique things to bet. Mm-hmm. But I don't feel like you have to go crazy and start firing. No, it, and the big thing I've been telling to everybody is like, listen, it's it's whether you had a good NFL season, don't piss it away on the Super right. Bowl. And if you had a bad one, don't chase either. Yeah, like, don't sit there. Don't and, do and if you had a yeah. bad NFL season, don't yeah. chase. Yeah. Don't think like, oh, this is the last game, so now I'm gonna I gotta bet all this stuff and try to make it all back because right. you can make a bad situation way, way, way worse. Dig and so, a deeper hole. Yeah, yeah don't I, don't do that either. I, I, I totally agree, and I, I think it's interesting from a prop betting perspective. How do you approach things? You and I have talked DFS mm-hmm. for years, yeah. but w- w- when it comes to betting on the Super Bowl for props, there's way more opportunities, way more mm-hmm. markets, and they've been up longer yeah. than what they normally yeah. are, which is the bigger key. Do you approach betting the props any differently? Yeah, I mean, mainly it's it's overs early and unders later, you know, yeah, and, yeah, like, yeah. and it's just yeah. kind of that type of deal. And if you haven't bet, you know, if you if you like an over at this point, you probably already missed the the better number on all of those. That doesn't mean it's unbettable, but you certainly are probably not getting the better of the number with all of that. And I think you, the closer we get to to kick off, I'll probably play a decent amount of unders as well. You know, like it's just one of those deals where we have three new states that are going to be betting into these markets for the first time. They've never never been able to bet a Super Bowl legally, mm. so we're getting three you know three other states that are coming in in Ohio, Kansas, and, and, and Maryland as well. So Mass, yeah. yeah, and and so I think there's going to be a lot of people who want to root for overs and scoring and yardage and all the different things yeah. like that. And I think it'll present some opportunity. Pretty much, you know, the closest the closer we get to kickoff. Last one for mm-hmm. me before he closes it up. Does Farrah really always kick your ass in the in the oh, fantasy stuff? No. Like I just had to ask because I've heard no. I've heard he, some he stories. Dro- he drops it a lot on you. <laughs> I'm like just <laughs> saying, like I just want to know lot. where this well, stands. I'm just like saying, in the head, head to head. head. Wow. Like the head to We've head played things. a little bit in the past. Well, I mean, this guy is bringing up stuff better. from seven, eight years ago well, or something. I mean, or it's whatever. my only accomplishment. Oh that. my <laughs> God! Look at this guy wins one time and he holds on to it for the rest. Oh, he guy wins one time. Oh. He holds on to it for he, his entire he said, life. He I says mean. every time. He oh, oh boy, I will have to, we'll have to go and look at the records. That on might be that a bit one. of a stretch. Yeah, it might have been a little bit of a stretch. On uh, all right, so that's why it's I like a big fish story. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, it gets better yes, with age. Yes. That's true. Okay. All right, all right boys, I got to go get on air over there. Go so, go 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 go. I appreciate it Thanks, and uh, have Thanks, a good one. Good luck on all the bets. That's Matt Brown, our Vegas version of Matt Brown here from Visa. Matt Brown M two.